Here we are. You guys ready for today? Yeah. It's a big day today. Pressure's on. Got a special treat for you guys. Guy that needs no introduction. Brother, please come on out. Yeah, when the rock locked out, it's like, man, he's big time. And it kind of really sunk in that there are millions of people who would kill to be right where we are. Wayne Rock Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Rock is the most electrifying superstar in WWE history. Big one! With his skill, athleticism, and personality, the people's champ brings it like no one else. And as one of Hollywood's hottest stars, it's no wonder he has become a worldwide icon. Let's get you guys in a ring, work around a little bit. I just want to see what kind of presence you guys got, so whoever's up first. Being the one with the rock is just intense. He is the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Total package, like the way he moves, the way he talks, everything has a flash and a flare on it. To actually be able to move with the rock, man, you know, he's just the biggest, most badass dude in the WWE. quickly learned why The Rock is so good. He is, he is impeccable. <laughs> I want to play. Since The Rock came, I feel like more bummed out. You know, I want to be able to walk up with him and like move around and like, I don't get that opportunity. Like, I'll probably never have that opportunity again. So the one thing I want to tell you guys is that everybody felt good, but uh, there's a couple of things. One is just is be looser, you know what I mean? What happens when you that stiff in something like this, you can easily blow yourself up. Just let it go. Just be a bit looser. All right, gang. For your skill challenge today, it's all about charisma. You're going to have two minutes to promo against your favorite trainer, the one and only Big Bill DeMott. You gonna stick around or you gonna ride off in the sun? No, I'm here with you. What? You gonna stick around? I'll stick around. Wayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> stick around for a skill. All right, all right, let's line it up. Get ready. Jeremiah, you're up first. The rest of you, you're gonna have to wait outside until your name is called. Out, Jeremiah. In. Do it. I love promos. It's a war of words. If you can't talk, if you can't run your mouth, this business is just not a place for you. And to me, that's extremely important because that is a uh, a very uh, big quality of a WWE superstar. Go for it. Two options, predator or prey. The only two options I see that you make was whether to eat two Twinkies or four. <laughs> when I look in your eyes, you know me and you aren't that that different at all. Because what I like about you is what you like about me. Nothing at all. So whenever you're in doubt, all you gotta do is give Daddy Riggs a shout. Roger that. He's comfortable in everything he does. He's done a lot of thinking though too, as well. Your gears are spinning. Yeah, gears are spinning. Yeah, he's had. Yeah. He's coming into the ring, Luke. Fire away at your will. Bill, I've heard you talk, and uh, shh. Seems to me you think you're the king of the jungle in this ring, right? The big bad lion. Well, this Sunday, it's you and me, one on one, student and teacher. But we're going to crown a new king of the jungle, Bill. But you see, I don't look at myself too much like a lion, Bill. You see, I see a big, 
bad wolf. But there will be no huffing and puffing, Bill, because this is no fairy tale. This is reality. And the reality is this, that I'm the only guy here with the balls to step into your jungle, hunt down the big bad lion, and pull the trigger with a smile on my face. So this Sunday, Bill, all that's left is click, click, boom. All right, young Luke, step outside, please. The last time I checked, I don't remember a wolf ever beating a lion. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't. I, I did like, though, his, uh, his intonation, you know, where he was finding that too as well, but I agree with you. Well, with that being said, let's, uh, bring in young Christina. I definitely feel like the skill challenge is a make or break situation. Um, just for me in particular, because, like, I've been sitting out this week, so hopefully the stars will align and everything will go well. Okay, Christina, you ready? I think so. Just when you mark. Go. It's me and you, Bill. Now if that bell sounds, you'll look at me across the ring. You'll think to yourself, self, who does this girl think she is? You'll convince yourself that you're bigger, stronger, maybe faster. But it's up to me to prove you wrong. And when the referee counts to three, your shoulders are going to be on this mat. And I gave it all I could to make sure that you didn't get back up. All right. Thank you. Put the mic down, please. Uh, wait outside. Uh, I thought you really needed to bring it. You know, in a situation like this, I mean, you you've got to you've got to come with it, and you got to believe in everything you're saying. But you're a little timid, probably a little nervous. Good girl. Yeah. Tough week. Tough Enough is presented by Warner Brothers Pictures, The Hangover Part 2, in theaters this Thursday. Casey Mears drives the number 13 Geico Toyota Camry. Naturally, he saves with Geico. He also drives a motorcycle. He drives an RV and an ATV. Geico insures motorcycles, ATVs, and RVs. We insure almost everything Casey drives. Almost. Geico, saving people money on more than just car insurance. Small busy family, the family with thousands of odors, like Boomer, our boxer, our leftovers from last night. And then there's Phil. Oh, Phil. But for every odor, our the airless odor detects using the latest smart odor sensor technology. The first air freshener that detects thousands of odors, then automatically releases a burst of freshness that can keep up with this family and yours. Oh, I'll go with the MGD 64 Lemonade. I'll have a 64 cow pina colada. Yeah, okay. Oh, one tiny pina colada. You know, I'll have a 64 Lemonade. Yes. Yeah. Good choice. They're great. Yeah, those are delicious. We're now offering large three topping pizzas for $7.99 each, Monday through Wednesday carry out. $7.99? That's crazy. I'm not crazy. This pizza is worth at least twice what we're charging for. The economy is still tough, and this is a great way to give customers value. <laughs> These are actual comments made by South Carolina drivers. Listen, I'm in a rush. I'm always late. A seatbelt is the last thing on my mind. Man, I don't need to wear a seatbelt. I got quick reactions. Something's gonna happen to you. It's my car. It's my space. I shouldn't have to wear a seatbelt. Yeah, not wearing a seatbelt's dangerous. I like these. 
If that's your attitude, we'll be seeing you soon. Buckle up, South Carolina. It's the law, and it's enforced. You chose to ignore the safety of the law. Come on. This is the next yeah, 60 minutes of your life. Roads can be highways and highways. The choice is yours. Tuesday, June 7th. The world's seventh con artist turned FBI into my bad. That was my time. Catch it. Chopper, if you can. Crime isn't the hard part. Our part's getting away with it. White Collar, an all new season, premiere Tuesday, June 7th at 9 on USA. Step into the ring at www.toughenup.com and add your voice to the chatter community. Chatter is where Tough Enough fans like you can interact and discuss the show in real time. Post comments via Facebook and Twitter, upload photos from your Flickr account, and share YouTube videos with other fans. Yeah, I never get tired of that. Choose the way you watch at www.toughenup.com. Outstanding. Just bring in uh, Andy. As we talk about charisma, go to cut promos with The Rock here in person. They better bring their A game because it's going to be a uh, do or die time for these contestants. The market said go. Now, I know I'm supposed to come in here today and talk about a match me and you are supposed to have. Come on now. We both know me and you ain't going to have a match. You see, the reality is I'm young, I'm strong, and I'm on the way up. You're old and gray. You've always passed you by. So I have this fire. This silent rage that can't be contained. And I, above everyone out there, never want to hear else to know. Things like hard work, breaking bones, perseverance. They're more than just words, They're more than just ideas. Perspectives are way to life, my life. The reality is, me and you wouldn't ever, ever have a match. Just like the four people out there, your only claim to fame be that you're lost in me. Step outside, young Andy. Thank you. He didn't stand out for me. Biggest guy in the competition didn't stand out. I thought, I thought for a second that if there was going to be a moment where he was going to bring it. When he said, you know, this is my life. My life! You know, and I thought for a second he was going to go down and he was going to take a nice right turn and do something a bit more emotional there, but... And it just kind of went back to stay the same. Another missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. cool. AJ, we're eight weeks deep into this competition, and right now, my life is hanging on two minutes in the ring with Bill. Go. Bill DeMott and Tumbleweed. Alone in the ring. You know what? There was a point where I felt very much at home in this ring. Then you came along. Then you came along, and I got to give you props because you did something that no one throughout my entire career has been able to do. You made me doubt myself, Bill. You made me second guess myself. I'll even go as far as to say there were moments where I didn't even believe in myself. And you know, I understand all the nicknames and all the ha-ha at my expense. Look, that's not what bothers me. You know what does bother me, Bill? When you label the pursuit of a dream that has consumed me for most of my life, a mockery. That's when you start trapping in my O'Neal. I'm not just coming to beat you. I'm coming to make a believer out of you. Shine, my But most importantly, I'm gonna make believers out of them. Fuck you. Thank you, AJ. That was good. That was good. I believe him. He took all the facts that have been presented to him since we started Tough Enough, yeah. put it all right back on you, he made his point, and he made it well. It was the best promo of the day. And what I also love, make a believer out of you, them, me, and all these yeah. people. He hit a triple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After he struck out many.